So I know that I'm a little bit late to this, but I thought it was a really interesting story that I wanted to talk about because I wanted to sort of give my opinion. I also want to hear your guys' opinion on this. But there's this article from The Wrap that speaks about the firing of Nomi Konst and Hannah Cranston from the Young Turks. So The Wrap says, The Young Turks laid off at least five employees this week. A person familiar with the matter confirmed to The Wrap on Thursday. Among the departures were Nomi Konst and Hannah Cranston, who had both been prominent on-air talents with the company. In a statement, the company declined to confirm any specific numbers and instead lamented the difficult decisions required for growth. TYT Network has continued to see tremendous growth in audience size and engagement, as well as business partnerships and sponsorships. From time to time, we are faced with difficult decisions as we grow into our larger size, influence, and reach. We truly respect our colleagues as people and professionals, which makes personnel changes difficult even when necessary to move the company into the next phase of our evolution. Konst, who served as an investigative reporter for the left-leaning network since 2016, told colleagues and colleagues in a terse email obtained by The Wrap that she was, quote, moving on in a Facebook post she elaborated. Thank you to those who trusted me to share their stories. These were special stories to cover at a significant time. It's been the greatest privilege working as a correspondent for the Young Turks. So this is really interesting because... Nomi Konst, I think Nomi Konst was hired as a result of the of their investigator drive. Uh, they had, a, a, I think right after the election it was, they had an investigative reporting drive, which is really cool. What they basically did was, is they're like, hey, we're going to set up a fundraiser so you guys can directly fund uh, our hiring of investigative reporters. And they did, they hired Jordan Sharon out of that. They hired, I think they also hired Nomi Konst from that, if I'm not mistaken. And Nomi Konst was very good. She was somebody who, uh, there was, there's video of her, uh, calling out the DNC at one of their conventions or something like that. And she really went, went ham on them. And she actually did a very good job of keeping the Democrats in check. And it looks like she's still working to do that. And there's some, some sort of reform with superdelegates that has happened, which is very good. So it's unfortunate to see her go. She was a very good, uh, very good worker for the Young Turks. Now, Hannah Cranston, on the other hand, in my opinion, there's nothing personal against her, but I think that she's not too good. Uh, I think that her opinions aren't very informed. I don't think they're very accurate. And I often find that her opinions and the way she, you know, delivers herself are often counterintuitive and counterproductive to the aims of the left wing, uh, whether it be, you know, wherever it may be. And so I think that, you know, uh, while it's unfortunate that she's gone, I think that we didn't really lose too much. And I think that, you know, Nomi Khan's definitely was good, and I wish she was still at the Young Turks. But Hannah Cranston, you know, she's moving on as well. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are on down this uh, about this down below. It was very interesting.